Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on an Eagle Eye X9. Now I was contacted by Banggood and they wanted me to test and review this light. It comes in this box, so let's wait no further, let's open it up and see what's in. Now I've done a previous review on an Eagle Eye the X7R and that was a really nice light okay so we're gonna go over these specifications right here on the light 3800 lumens on turbo and that's a lot alright pretty simple on the manual does come with a, a lanyard and an extra set of O-rings here. And it looks like it comes with the, a positive magnet for your batteries. So if you're using flat top cells, you can still run them in this light. But I'm using uh, semi-raised cells, so I won't need it. But in any case, let's go ahead and take a look at the light. nice knurling now this knurling is not rough so this to me is more cosmetic but in any case it feels like if you're holding it it's not going to slip out real easy it's got some on the tail cap there as well stainless steel bezel on that show you the eagle eye there really nice finishing on this I don't feel any sharp edges got a huge heat sinking area here and I'll show you this deep reflector now that's textured and that has a Cree XHP 70 LED and this is the 5K color temperature. All right, so let's open it up and I'll show you what cells I'm running. And we'll show you the spring there. Well greased on the threads, as you can see. And we'll go ahead and take the batteries out here. And I'm running the E-Fest. 3500 milliamp these are an unprotected cell now these are slightly raised so you don't have to worry about not making contact that's why I bought these really having some good luck with these I haven't had any issues whatsoever and I'm getting good run time with them we'll go ahead and take the barrel off the head here for you We'll show you spring on the head. And of course you can see well lubed on the threads there too. So we'll go ahead and put this back on. And we'll put the batteries back in. And we'll go ahead and go over the UI. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and press and hold this to turn it on. And as you can see, it does have an LED there. Um, I'm not too sure if that's any kind of a uh, battery level indicator. But in any case, okay, so now when you do activate the light, you now can easily go through those light outputs. And that's nice, even light outputs through the UI. You've got the low one here, of course. Then it jumps up. This is really nice and even. You got 3,800 lumens. Wow. And I'm going to show you the beam on this. It's got a 
really nice hot spot there has a little bit of a bleed here and then fades out no lines in the no halo lines in that flood so that's really nice really nice and then of course you can go back down any level of light output you can go ahead and double click on that to get strobe full bright and that is a slowing and rising fast and then of course you can click that one time to get back out of it usually go back through the UI now you can go ahead and press and hold that it's all there is to this light very simple to easy to operate really nice quality and most of all very affordable so let's take this eagle eye out see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the eagle eye x9 so we're going to go ahead and start it off on low and that's easily making 35 feet now 65 feet we'll show it up on the fence pretty good at this light output okay we're going to go up to the next level wow even at this light output making the bleachers out there past that tree of life got a nice wide spill on this too Cree X HP 70 sure is an excellent outstanding LED and it is faintly Make it across the park there. No worries, we got more light outputs. There we go. Tree line, fence line. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go to the next level. Spill really came alive on this level. Making across the park now, as you can see. Man, it looks really good when you've got stuff all around you. And you can really see how much light this thing is putting out. Showing the red LED there. Very nice. Making it across the park there. Famous tree of life. There's the spill. Spots taking up the whole tree. I have the black cat. Alright. He's faintly making those palm trees already. So let's go to the next level here. Wow. Making it easily across the park now. Incredible. Look at that. I'm going to show spill all the way up into the trees crazy <laughs> this is doing really good and this is priced well usually making it across the park the bleacher is there that's quite a ways out there too this is 135 feet. As you can see, the hot spot takes up the whole tree there in the distance. And there's the spill. Yeah, 
And this is making the palm trees now. Wow. A lot of ice on the ground. Doing really good. All right, well, we're gonna end the video on this, on this spot here, the tree line, fence line, just to show you how much light this thing is throwing out. All right, I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Here is another outstanding performing light. Uh, has good ability to throw that light out there. That SXP 70 LED from Cree really is a monster LED. Having four LEDs in one throws a lot of light. It does have good throw. It's not a super dedicated thrower, but in any case, it does give you both a little bit of a, a throw in there and with the spill there so it's kind of a flood and a throw mixed together having the best of both worlds right in one light uh, run times are really good with this and of course if you use the more milliamp batteries you use I'm using the 3500 milliamp if you use a 5000 milliamp or higher you're gonna get really good run times on this light and I just want to thank again Banggood for sending me this to review. I'm really liking this light. It's one of the uh, better lights that I've seen here. Uh, fact in design as well as performance. Now Banggood has provided me a special discount code and I'll put it right up on that screen right about there. And that way you can save some money on this should you be interested. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these budget lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.